And we want kids to, to fail yeah. in certain things because that's going to happen in the real world. Polly 这所学校的特点呢，是开车的话离纽约特别的近，不到两个小时就可以到，而且呢，它是一所男校，意思就是说，如果你是男孩的话，可以考虑；说如果你是女孩的话，就不要考虑了；说如果你家里有一男一女，还是可以考虑。So what kind of characters and skills are you looking for in students who are applying, and specifically in Chinese students? First thing that comes to my mind is being well-rounded. Uh, so on that note, well-rounded, because I've been also talking with some other schools.、Um, some schools are actually saying that, you know. When we say well-rounded, we actually mean you have to have a special, almost like a skills and almost special talent in、mm. one aspect. That that's what they're looking for, right? I want someone who's, let's say, an expert in piano、right. or an expert in painting.、Um, so, is that similar at TP, or would you say you're looking for different things?、Uh, we're the dabbler. You're the dabbler. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. We, yeah. We want kids who、um, have tried a little bit of everything. Yeah.、Um, and we want kids to to fail. Yeah. In certain things, because that's going to happen in the real world. Trinity Pauling、um, wants kids that are going to try things,、yeah. um, new things that they've never had before, and that's to me the beauty of boarding school. Yeah. And maybe use that piano skill. Yeah. Not just for concert pianist. Yeah. But. Being part of the jazz band, now, right? You know, and just using those talents in a different way. 我之所以问这个问题呢，是因为其实很多学校都说自己要全面发展的好学生，但是呢，你去看他们录取的中国学生，不是钢琴小王子啊，就是冰球小公主。但是呢 ，TP 的确喜欢是全面发展的中国学生，他们更看重孩子的好奇心和探索精神。How do you go about assessing a student? Sure. Uh, uh, number one is the interview. Yeah.、Um, for us,、uh, because. You can't see, and I, and I and I know I've said this before, but character and citizenship,、yeah. as you can tell, that's sort of a, a, an important、yes. aspect of、yeah. Trinity Pauling. But you can't see that on paper. Do you have some, you know, must-ask questions or your personal favorite questions that、right. you always throw it out to、right. get a sense of the student? What has been the most trying thing that's happened in your life?、Mm -hmm. What's been difficult? But it's always interesting to hear that answer because sometimes it's well. We were in the championship soccer game, and that was so trying for me. Right. That's one side, and then you kind of get an idea of that young man. Then it's, well, my my grandmother passed、mm -hmm. away,、mm -hmm. or my family had this really horrific event that、um, it was hard to deal with.、Right. That type of boy, and that can be domestic or international. That's where you know there's. 如果张升官让你分享一段曾经失败的经历，千万不要说以下这些事情，比如说爬着爬着山，突然发现没有水了，但还是奋力爬到了山顶，游着游着泳，突然发现腿抽筋了，但还是奋力游到了终点，上着上着厕所，突然发现没有大便池了，但还是、嗯，因为通过这些困难，你并没有得到任何的自我成长，并且张升官想听的，并不是说最后你是怎么样成功的，而是面对困难你做了什么。So if I were to ask you what makes TP special, if you can name, you know, maybe three things about、sure. the school, that would be great. Of course. Well, I think that number one is that we are all boys.、Um, so there are,、um, you know, only、um, I would say less than ten, you know, all boys boarding schools that are left、uh, in the country, and、sure. it's a unique experience.、Mm -hmm. The other aspect,、uh, we have created a new program called the Practicum for Civic Leadership. And it's a project-based learning program. Again, a, a curriculum-based program for boys. And then the third, which is really the most exciting, is the senior independent project. So by the time you're going into your senior year, we're hoping that you found that passion, that thing that makes you tick. Yeah.、Um, and we find an alum or a current parent that is in that field、mm -hmm. that you're so passionate about: sales, marketing, finance, business. Sports, and we match you up.、Mm -hmm. You learn about their business. You interview them. You go to their business if possible, and you create a senior independent project around that theme. So that's that's sort of the mission. Well, the mission of Trinity Pauling is to prepare young men for the ever-changing world. Hello. 还有一件特别有意思的事情，就是其实 J.P. Burlington 老师他自己也是寄宿学校的娃，他从五年级的时候就开始在纽约的一所男童合唱团，呃，这样的寄宿学校开始生活了。所以他从小就开始唱歌。然后我问他：“你现在还唱歌吗？”他说：“我再也不唱歌了。” The end， 拜拜。